stand still. Yeah, well, you have to, you have to you, you get too close, then Daddy can't push. Hi, Daddy. Hi, Daddy. Hi, Daddy. Hi, Daddy. You go to Daddy and I'll take the pictures? Should we switch? Okay, here. You go to Daddy. I'll take the camera. I'll take the camera. You know how well it fits her, it means that I must be losing weight if my clothes fit Kim. Exactly. And his favorite Nike shorts. Oh, Mark, you have lost weight. <laughs> yeah, just a little, but he can fit into my dress. If oh, I can fit well, into his fair. dress. Hi, Rhonda. Speaking Charlotte. of your dress, where is your dress? Um, Are you full now? Good, I feel better. Hello, Shana Toba, 57, 58, what, right? No, no. No, they have enough children. We have enough children. We don't need any more. Only temporarily. I would notice, I'm sure. She wants to sleep with the bed. Sure, I would. Here, I'll... How is he doing? He's winning. <laughs> I thought that you were the best. No, I wasn't. <laughs> this is the Battle of the Daniels. <laughs> Daniel Kleinerman, don't let him win. Okay. I'll try not to. Okay. Yeah. Benjamin, say hi. I'm not talking. Okay. Say shalom. <laughs> not yet. It's not. Just say, oh, you're on tape. That's all. Enjoy your conversation. Enjoy. Okay, ready, go.
to run out. Look at me, let me see. Would you buy your surgery?
like it on David. Yeah. 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 Oh, sorry, John. Oh, how are we going to do it? Hey, accident. Can't stand. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> But let's go out here in the sun. I think we'll get better light. Go down this way. <laughs> Josh, 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 don't whine. You're just going to get upset when you see this later on. Okay, Josh, do some, Josh, do it without the whining, so I don't have to go no, in. Hey guys, blow a bubble and bring it over here to Naomi. She's sitting in my lap. Uh, I don't know how to blow it. It's a little bit hard. Okay, catch oh, one. Catch. Wait, Daniel, let Josh catch it. I am, but Daniel just popped it. Daniel, Josh, I hope you enjoy these movies when we go inside and look at them, okay? You don't pull it running off. I'm about to bring it to you. You don't have to pop it for one. Okay, blow some, blow some, some bubbles. Favorite. Don't whine like Josh is. Do you have another bottle of bubbles, Mom? No. I don't know. Yeah, it's inside. Mom, can she have cheese? Sure. Okay. Does she like that? I don't think she'll eat that. Like I said, she won't eat it. <laughs>
I think she's interested in eating all of a sudden. Hold on. Josh, let me see you blow some. Okay, Josh, lean back and blow them straight in the air. Ask him if he's on his way home. Where's Naomi going? Mom, look at all those. I know, but I have to keep my eye on Naomi, and my eye goes where the camera goes. So wait, go, go bring her back. Go bring her back. Naomi, Naomi come back. You know, don't attract don't. All right. Naomi, come back. Josh, 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 whoa. Well, that's what I don't want to talk about. Like, talk like this. Whoa, I'm on my head. Here, okay. Hey, well, you can eat a couple of those. Oh, gosh. Whoa! Ah! Oh, no. Huh? Hop on me. Cheese go. You took it when you left. Oh, did yeah. you blow that one? Yeah. It looks like Saturn. Look at it. Oh my gosh, I got two big ones. Come on. Oh. Naomi, come here a minute. Does she need more cheese? Is that what she wants? What'd Daddy say? Wait, look at me. He said he'll be home. He's about six. Oh, mommy. Daniel, do you want to be in this movie? Yeah. You have to come in front of me and not behind me. Well, you don't need to practice. I think he's practicing for his big ones. Now, can you back up just a little bit? That's better, okay. Wait, now I can't see. Both of you have to back up and look at me. No, no, I like the side view. Look at each other. Stay, no, no, okay, stand Josh, face to face. Josh, back up a little bit. Okay, there we go. No, 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 no. Josh, turn around. I can't see. Ray Daniel, stop. Stop where you are. Well, he didn't stop, did he? Come around. Just come around, Josh. No, Josh, honey, move so I can see Daniel a little bit. There you go. And I caught one. You caught mm, one? Right, it sure is, Nacho. Cheese. Ooh, it has a big tomato in it. Oh. Oh, Naomi, do you like this nacho cheese? Yep. That's not Joe cheese. Oh, that's a Joe. Whoa! Oh, I don't remember how it goes, but that was a punchline. Oh, gross! A little. Ah! What do you just eat a tomato? One of the cheeses fell on her arm. Now I've oh, oh, oh. Naomi, how come she doesn't want the bubbles? Because she likes mine. Right now? No, 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 no. 
Can you dance in? You know. Naomi, can you do a patty cake? I guess not. You got crackers in your hand. Oh, she's got to sit down on your lap. Here. I'll go to over here. Oh, sorry. Head in the head with the camera. She's backing into my lap. Get ready, clunk. <laughs> okay. okay. I'm gonna try to get one right on the camera. I'll do it on the camera. No, don't get on the camera. I'm trying to get it on the lens. Well, y'all, y'all get so close that it won't focus. You won't focus. Focus the bubbles. No. Can you, mommy, look at this one. Whoa. See, Daniel, I can zoom in on your face, and I am zoomed in on your face right now. But. Mommy, look at the one I caught. Now you can look. Wait. Go get it. Come on, Daniel, Daniel, just for a second. Us to do this. Oh, okay, go ahead. Okay. Um, tomorrow, um, me and Daniel and Naomi are going to live here, and Sammy and Aria and Rachel and Josh are going to live at my house, and me and... No way! <laughs> and me and Daniel are getting married. No Sammy way! And Sammy and Rachel are getting married, and um, you Aria, win. Aria, you win. <laughs> Aria, win. Win. Aria and Josh are getting married. Oh, to live in, with whoever they want at the Davis's house. I'd like to invite the Davises to come live at our house forever. No! We'll take turns. No! no! Wait a second, you're no! inviting Carolyn and Scott? To move in with us and all the kids can move at their house. Unless, of course, they would like all the kids to stay here. We'll be glad to move in at their house. No! That's no! fine with I'm us. I'm very easy to cook for. You have to pay I for us to babysit. I like everything, babysit. okay? And I don't make too much noise. But tell Mark he has to pay for us. We're, we're going to babysitting all these kids. No way. He charged three fifty an hour. Scott, you'll be very <laughs> proud of this entrepreneurial entrepreneurial lady that you're raising over here. Uh huh. Okay, three fifty well, an I'm, hour. Okay, wait, what wait, do we get if we take custody of Sammy? How much do you pay uh, us? Mm, two fifty an hour. We'll okay, wait, wait, wait. First, I have some Sam. comments. I have to go back to this thing now. You're getting married to Daniel, okay? Rachel's no. decorating the cake. It's an arranged marriage, though. <laughs> Okay, at first I want to yeah, say from your It's an arranged life, marriage. They, Rachel wants to marry Sam. Josh wants to marry her, but. No! Our, boo! Boo for our Mark, house! Boo! Mark, boo! Mark's, Mark's boo! making boo. us marry each other. And Rachel's decorating the cake. Okay, so, I want to say from your okay. lips to God's ear. I think okay? okay. I think it's a good idea. It's a good match, but I think you should do it now. Go ahead. What? Here, I'll get the Wait a minute. No, wait, wait we need minute. to get Sam and Scott, Ariel over here. We need you to make one for this girl, oh, okay? Boy, we need boy in your family, one more. <laughs> okay, get cracking. Sam can be married twice. But how do you play on piano? Hey, girl. Oh, Eva, do you play the piano? No. Oh, wow. She ready for bed? She ready for bed, real piano. soon. Well, I think everybody Look at needs her cute teddy bear. Including her, okay. I want her back. I'm not going to get married. All right, Daddy, sign off. Sign off. Bye for now. Did you take any pictures of ours to come? No, I didn't. Well, okay, now step on the glass. This is the second down. This is the second down. We're about to lose our battery. Uh. Oh, 
Okay. Oh. Okay, we're going to take down. Okay, we're taking down our sukkah, our sukkah for 1990, 57, 51. And Josh is fetching on the camera, so I'm going to stop now. Bye. There's Coco. Mm. Okay, come here. Come bring come Coco. You and Coco can sit in my lap. Get mommy. Bring Coco to mommy. Bring Coco to mommy. She's trying to back into your lap. Okay. Boing. Say, uh, I'll go like this. Say one, two, three. And pitch your touch. One, two, three. Go. Go get mommy. Okay. Run. Run. Naomi, this way. <laughs> go get go. it. Go get it. Backing in, backing in, to the left, to the right, to the right, down, engine's off. when you put the lens cap on. <laughs> Who's there? Naomi. Hi. From this side, Naomi. Look at here. Look, 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 Naomi. Look. Naomi. See Josh? Naomi. Can you give it to me? Come here.
could ever imagine. That's it for funny jokes today. <laughs> See you on the next episode. Okay, y'all finish your hair up quickly. So, what's up? Uh, why is there dead silence? What's going on? <laughs> Would you show me your teeth? Oh my goodness. Let me let me focus in on them. Okay. Let me like come closer. No, I can't. This is as close as I can stand. This closer. tooth, right here, my mom pulled two days ago. Did you get paid for it? Tw $625. There. Oh my goodness. Seems like a lot of money for a tooth that it, that it just borrowed for a while. Mommy, Sarah needs something for her hair. What does she want? Anything. Oh, wait, I have something. Let's go get that shirt. I suggest you put first a rubber band and then it'll be easier to tie. Look out, Mama! I love you, my darling! Naomi, don't put your bottle in the toilet. <laughs> Naomi! Mommy, are you going to wear your outfit like this today? If you want. Good, so can Naomi. You think it still fits her? And mommy was at the doctor a lot. Okay, Sarah, your hair is perfect for the performance. After you girls get all groomed and play the piano, then what are you going to do? Go get donuts? Yes. Are you going to take Naomi with you? Yes. Ma? Mommy, I don't know how you tie up Sadie on. Practice. Hey, mommy, do it! You said that you would! Who's gonna take a video? Me. I don't think I can do it with one hand. Can you put down, turn off the video? No, you won't. Yes, I will. That's alright. Don't worry about it. First, tell me your name and how old you are. Oh, Sierra Pants are 10 years old. Okay, go. Put your hand over here. Where? In this thing. No, this hand. Okay, it's on. Okay. Go ahead, Naomi, dance. Stop it. Okay. Naomi, yeah. dance. Whoa, look at you go. Want to try to turn it upside down? No. Okay, go ahead and introduce. This is a moving picture. Now you can. Um, hello and welcome again to Naomi's Corner. We have a, de a guest today, Naomi Gautisma. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. That's for me. Let her take it. Um. Here, take it. She's just very hungry right now. Take it, please. Um, and Naomi would like to demonstrate how to feed, and we will also do our new invitation. Like me. 
Oh, wait, I got I gotta go. Rachel's outside. Hold on. And then, Say that again. Hi. Okay, it's hello. And we had to cut off because our dumb sister Rachel got some and just came in. Okay, and this is my show, the Daniel Gottesman talk show. And today we have a special guest, Naomi Gottesman. Some freak in the audience. Naomi, will you please what? tell us about your life? Who is your mother? Who is your mother? Where's mommy? Mommy? <coughs> Where's mommy? Hey, this is my talk show. Where's You're mommy? taking away my job. No, Okay. No, sir. No. Hey, you know it. Sit down. No. Shut up. No. I told her to touch her nose. Normie, Normie would like to no, perform sir. some tricks for us. No. Can you touch your nose? Where's your nose? Where's your nose? <laughs> don't, don't get connected like that. Move, Rachel. Oh, thank you. My no. hand, Mother. Yeah. Where's your nose? Where's your nose? Ow. She's getting sick of this freaking audience. Where's the nose? Where's the nose? That's okay. This battery's about to run out anyway. Where are you going? Mm. Huh? Are you having a bowl of fruit, Naomi? Where's the grapes? Where's the grapes? Naomi, God! is very hungry. We will watch as I feed her a grape. There you go. It's a bird. It's a blank. It's super low. Okay, start flying. Da, 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 da. Put the right date on, Debbie. It doesn't have any date at all. Josh, go over and give Suki a hug. Give Saba a hug. Dana, let me see Saba pick you up by your by your head. Saba, pick me up by my arms. Okay. All right. I'm watching you get up. Like, okay, here we go. Ready? Okay. One, two, three. Do my shirt. Do my yoga. I just did. Saba, Saba, short, short. Whenever she starts hey, acting hey, like you want to be with her. Zaba, please, Zaba, Zaba, shirt, 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 Zaba, shirt. Yeah. Shirt, 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 shirt. I said shirt. Wait, Zaba, shirt. Zaba, get like this. Shirt. Oh, and shirt. Zaba, okay, turn. Zaba, you pick up people on the movies, right? You'll tear the shirt. Okay, come on. Let's see. Hey, shirt, shirt, Zaba, come on, shirt. More tear. I'll tear the shirt, I'll tear the shirt. Now we need it with a suit, Josh. I can't, there's nothing to grab. Oh! Sorry, Naomi, just get it tight together. You'll tear the shirt. Try to pick it up from the bottom. No, 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 the bottom of the shirt. Mommy, look! Wedgie! Oh my God, Wedgie! Wedgie, 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 Yeah! Okay, I need everybody to get by sub all at once like we were going to take a picture. <laughs> okay, everybody stand on the table so you'll be as tall as Saba. There we go. Mark, bring Naomi over here. This is our grandpa. He is uh, 67 years old. 68. This and he is 68 years old. Yeah. Maybe that's one of Okay, now Saba's going to Rachel, Rachel Daniel, stop. Saba's going to recite a poem, and then each of you on your bar or bot mitzvah can re can learn that poem. Okay, Saba, you go first. Up from the south at break of day, bringing the news. 
From getting to A. <laughs> no, no, no. And Cherry hey, 20 I'm miles sorry. away. The terrible rumble and rumble and roar. Telling the battle was on once more. And Sheridan was 20 miles away. Rachel, are you want to pick a different poem? Tiger, 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 tiger,
Okay. Now, when you do your next tour reading, will you hold it up so I can see your face? Because all I saw was the part in your hair that time. Let's do it. Let's do it this time. Okay. Well, wait. Just one second. We're so recording. One, record over. Well, no. Well, it's okay. We'll do it again. Let's go. Let's hear your other tour reading now. Because I want to do it again so you can hear the improvement. Okay, now let's do your half tour, including the blessings. Darbashava, be my Darbashava, 
Be sure and give me as much oh, eye contact shoot. as you can. The other one was not charging. Oh, all right, we'll charge it, okay. It's a form of a stupid speech. Go ahead. Daniel, is it recording? So, my Torah portion this morning, Ba'ed Hanan, includes the Ten Commandments. I would like to discuss the relationship between the First, Fifth, and Tenth Commandments. The First Commandment states, I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. The fifth commandment is, honor your father and your mother. And the tenth commandment states that you shall not covet your neighbor's wife, nor shall you desire his house, his fields, or any of his possessions. These represent three different types of commandments. The first commandment is a statement of fact. No discussion and no explanation. God is God. This is a command between ourselves and God. He has freed us from slavery, but he establishes himself as an absolute authority. The fifth commandment, on the surface, deals simply with the conduct of an individual toward his parents. However, the relationship between a child and his parents contains elements of similarity to the relationship between an individual and God. When we are young, our parents are godlike to us. They are all powerful. They are all knowing. We believe them to be capable of no wrong. As we grow older, we discover them to be human like us. Certainly, their authority is not absolute. 
For example, Leviticus chapter 19, verse 3, mirrors the Ten Commandments and that laws concerning observance of the Sabbath and honoring of the parents are given back to back. The verse states, You shall fear every man his mother and his father, and you shall keep my Sabbaths. I am the Lord your God. According to the Talmud, these two mitzvot are placed side by side in order to teach that the fear of parents must not exceed fear of God. As one grows older, he may come to realize that what his parents taught him may not be in keeping with his interpretation of what God commanded. A person is instructed to do what he thinks is right in God's eyes, but he is still challenged to respect his parents. And yet, are there not elements of the parent-child relationship in the way that God approaches us? In the first commandment, he is autocratic. By the fifth commandment, he offers us a reward. Honor your parents so that your days may be long and that it may go well with you. Isn't God treating us like our parents do, driving us to be good? This brings us about to the 10th commandment. A moral directive is given to the people, and the implication is that they will follow it because it is right and just. By fulfilling the 10th commandment and suppressing envy and jealousy, we are honoring both God and our parents. Our actions are a reflection on our parents. By dealing justly with our fellow man, we become a source of pride to our families. Looked at from the perspective of choice, the commandments are now good to the increasing freedom of action that we acquire as we mature. Initially, we are treated like little children. We are expected to obey blindly. Then, like growing children, we are encouraged to obey because of rewards. Finally, we are dealt with as free individuals who choose to do what they think is right because it is right. The earliest decisions that affect us are not ours to make. We don't decide to be born. Similarly, we are given our names, usually in memory of individuals that have passed away. I was named after two people who were close to my parents. My middle name, Jonathan, is a derivation of my given Hebrew name, Yochanan. This was in memory of my father's aunt, Connie, whose Hebrew name was Hannah. I'm told that she was a woman of great inner strength and an unfailing sense of humor. I hope to aspire to both of these qualities. The name Daniel was given to me in memory of my parents' friend, Don Taco. Like them, he was a young Judean. He came from Waco, Texas. Don was instrumental in establishing Kibbutz Ketura, north, north of Eli. Not long after the Yom Kippur War he fought in, he was tragically killed in an automobile accident. I, okay. I, I, too, am young I can't say. Go ahead. I, too, am a young Judean. Daniel. What? Put it, put, don't put your thing in front of you. This summer I attended Camp Young Judea. Young Judeans are concerned with Israel's well-being, and this is certainly true of my family. Israel has always been important to us. I have traveled to Israel several times with my grandparents. They have also taken my sister Rachel and my brother Joshua. Joshua has returned from spending four weeks there. Israel has been important, not, not only to my immediate family, but to my extended family as well. The Friday night gatherings to usher in the Shabbat are made more meaningful because so many of us have studied or are studying Hebrew and understand the meaning of the Kiddush over the one. I'm fortunate to have received an enriched Jewish education and to have been given the opportunity to travel to Israel. This helps to create a connection between myself and the places and events described in my tour portion. I'd like to express my appreciation to the people who help me prepare for my Bar Mitzvah. I'd like to thank Rabbi Shittah for studying with me every week in preparation for my becoming a Bar Mitzvah for being a friend. I would like to thank Deborah Musher for helping me rehearse my prayers in my half tour. I would also like to thank Rabbi Gornfrice for teaching me Torah, the reading of the Torah when I was in second grade. This allowed me to, put, to participate fully in junior congregation, which has given me confidence for today's service. My family and I are very happy that the Gornfrice were able to travel from Savannah, Georgia to join us for the Simca. I'm grateful to Sovereign Grandma my dad's parents were taking me to Israel four times. They have bridged the miles between Houston and New York, both by plane and by phone, so many times that Houston is truly a second home for them. I'd also like to thank Bubby, my mom's mother, for making the cookies and supervising the arrangements here in the synagogue. My earliest memories of Shabbat are at Friday nights with Bubby's, with, at Bubby's, with the Brams, the Dailies, and the Crewmans. We still get together every week to enjoy Shabbat dinner in each other's company. I'm happy that so many family and friends are here this weekend. Many have come from far away. 
A special greeting to Kim Fruman, who left Camp Jacobs in Mississippi, so she could share my bar mitzvah with me. I'm so proud that my great grandmother, Frances Godsman, was able to travel here from New York for this weekend. We're celebrating a double sim for this summer. My bar mitzvah and her 96th birthday. Thanks, Mom and Dad, for your patience. You have always told me that being Jewish doesn't stop at age 13. You set a good example for me by leading the junior congregation. Mom, you always seem to bring out order from the chaos in our house. I know that a lot of your effort went into this weekend's preparations, and it shows. Dad, we share so much in common, from coins to chess to jogging to James Bond movies. Thank you both. I'd like to thank my sister Rachel for keeping my other sister Naomi out of the way so I could practice for my bar mitzvah. Last but not least, I'd like to thank Josh for going to Israel and giving me time to prepare. Josh, didn't you have a great time with Saba and Grandma? Thank you. Shabbat Shalom. Shut up. Call for the first call of the hour on our sequence Our total reader will be Bob Sorrow. Amen, wait a nan, el nai, wait a hee, more. Adonai, ado Elohim. Ata, he looked at the haro, hot it at the ha, et got the ha, et got the ha, as a ka. A share me, el, bashamayim, uba arets, a share ya hasek, and mahaseka uki guru teha, ebrana. Vaire et aaret atova, ashe ashe beebe hayadain, ha ha ato, ha zebe halabanon, vaita bear, adonai be the man at hand below, shama elai, vayomer adonai elai, rabla alto se, da bear elai, od badabarze, ale rosha pisga. Besaineha, Yama Bitsafona, Betemana, Umizraha, Ravineha, Kilo Tabor, Etayardeha, Ze, Bitsavet Yoshua, because Kehu Beam Sehu, He who Yabor, Leave Neham Haze, Behu Yan Kilo Tam, Eta Aretz Asher Tir E. Vineshe Bagai Mul Beit Beor Vata Yisrael Shema El Chukim Vela Mishpatim Asher Asher Anavi Melamed Etchem Lasot Leman Tichiyu Ubatem Birishtem Et Haaretz Asher Adonai Asher Adonai Elohei Avotechem Notein Lachem Lo tosi hu al hada al hada va al hada var asher anochi mitzavetem velo tigru mi menu lishmor et mitzvot aranai elohem asher anochi mitzavetem enechem harod et asher asa aranai bevar peor hi cholai. Asher halach acharei ba'al peor ishmedo Adonai Adonai Elohecha v'kir becha v'atem hadvekim v'adonai Elohechem chayim ulchem hayom. That's not cheating either. How about shaking hands? You know what? Y'all shake hands again. I think I missed it. You think we missed it? Okay. Okay. He did better than he did for his bar mitzvah. That's right. And I, my lower, my voice is lower, and I didn't the get second the notion. The Charlotte Fruman and Kim Fruman, the total reader would be Marshall Fruman and Daniel Musher. For the third aliyah, Anna Gradiosa. Slower, so I can't understand you. For the third aliyah, he will call Anna Gradiosa, and the total reader will be Rachel Gossman. What? No. No, I'm sorry. Rachel Grunfant will be the third total reader. The fourth total reader will be Israel Gossman, and when Sandy Jacoby has the aliyah, um, Israel will read in just a minute. Um, we're going to jump to the seventh Aliyah when Steve Grunfetz will be reading and Ron and Debbie Daly and Edith Daly will be saying the bar calls. Seeing as how the one with the best voice is Edith, she will now be saying the bar calls. Are you recording? Are you recording? Turn it off. You know what? Well, that's okay. Don't I just want you to know. This. 
And I, I, Again, you oh, did yeah. what? I just want you to know that I threw up the morning of my bar mitzvah and I told my mother that I did not want to go to call the rabbi in the kitchen that I was not going to show up. <laughs> okay, so did it, she do that? Um, did no, she, show she up? made me a cup of tea and said, you'll get over it. And so I, I Tell I, everybody I, what your middle name is. Colinimus. So she says Colinimus, she'll be okay? No, she never called me Colinimus, not even when she was angry. Okay. It's a small yeah. battery. Right. Okay, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't record it. I didn't record it. You lying like a two. And then the Torah reading is read, it's concluded, and you get to kiss the Torah again. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, asher natan lanu Torah emet, v'chaye olam, natan v'chateinu, baruch atah Adonai, notein ha'torah. Excellent, amen. Amen, excellent. Go back. You want to go in the office, Sophie? See? After the blessings are said. Are you partial? You're going to wait for still my guys to have some food. For his permits, I'm probably going to have to fly to Israel. You think so? Tom Levanecha, the Dibartah Bam, 
Just cover it, okay? Because Why? we'll go, you know, I'll go through it one more time. I need to go through mine. You one need more to, time. but, okay, Rachel All right, and so Josh. Just cover it, then. Okay. Just cover it up so Mark can read his. Daniel's only Daniel. 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 Jump down. How about another one? Okay. We'll negotiate later. Jump okay. down, let Rachel and Josh All right, so we, we'll go. Go. Great. Vesha. Shamu. 
Okay, you're not going to lead this prayer. Do you want to you finish it for the rehearsal? Because you're not going to do the prayer at Shabbat. Whatever one you think is assigned to you. No. Okay, now, Rachel, go up there and join him for Adon Olam, which is on page 162. Bless you. Why didn't you all mine? He has to leave, so do this. Adon Olam, Asher Mala. A little faster. But tear a pole, you tear the rock. Adon Olam, the Nasa, the half sun coal. As I'm a leshemony crop, I don't know long, I don't know long. Ash, 
Okay, Josh, do you want to do Osset Shalom? Come on. Josh, you do it right now, please? I think that they have time.
Absolutely. It's your birthday. How, how old are you going to be? 58. What do you want? Do you want chocolate cake or what? What kind of cake do you want? She wants a banana nut cake. Oh, wait a second. We got one right here. Where is it? We got one right here. Save it. Aunt Janet, Aunt Janet, come over next Friday. I'm going to show you this video. <laughs> Let's go ahead and sing right now. Aunt Janet. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Janet. Happy birthday to you. Okay, now we can take a picture of all the cake. Wait a second, Aunt Janet, come cut the cake. Aunt Janet, come cut your cake. Happy birthday! Hey, you. You <laughs> Did your mom? Did your mom not say Mom, baby, that's a good time to yell over the radio. Dress or your pants? <laughs> no, it's too noisy, Josh. <laughs> Josh, turn it off. Charlotte, don't let nobody sleep in the house.